Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Earl Bynum. I'm so glad you tuned in all over the country. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the emails at onstagewithearlbynum at gmail.com. Continue to send your birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you're doing in your area. You're everywhere. And we love that about you. My co-host, Lucinda Moore, always walking in her favor. You don't see her, but know that she's close. She's she, she going to hit me up and say something. Don't even worry about that. So, uh, but we love you guys. Don't forget, you can stay in contact with Lucinda, Lucinda Moore One on all platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Make sure you hit her up. Go and get her merch. She got everything. She's selling everything from stilettos to, to sneakers to jumpsuits. I'm telling you, I think she's one of the hardest working women outside of Vicky Winans. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying she is. I, she's doing everything and she's doing it everywhere. Keep in contact with your boy Earl Bynum. It's simply Earl Bynum Instagram, Earl Bynum Twitter. Yes, I still have a Twitter. You ought to have one too. Earl Bynum on Facebook, Earl Bynum Music. Go to my YouTube page, all right? YouTube channel, that's Earl Bynum. Make sure you do that. And uh, we're just trying to push ourselves and make God bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do. But I'm excited because we got an amazing, amazing dude with us. Writer, choir director, uh, father, husband. I mean, he just doing it all. So I don't even know how he wearing all those hats, but we going to find <laughs> out the one and only Jason Claiborne. What's up, man? Man, what's up, Earl, man? Thank you for having me. Lucinda, I love you. You know, I've been knowing Lucinda forever. Uh, Hayes days, man. So, hey. man, I'm just glad to be here. Thank you for having me, bro. Man, I'm glad you're here. So what is going on in your world, man? Man, it's it's been cool, man. So going from, you know, writer, a lot of people, you know, we've been, I've been behind the scenes for the last 10 to 15 years, man, writing songs that people sing in their churches, man. Um, you're All I Need by Bishop Ooh, Hezekiah Walker. Better better for Bishop Hezekiah Walker. I Survived It for Ricky Dillard. Um, man, and, and many other songs that you sing on Sunday morning. Um, I've written for Bashan Mitchell, written for God, um, uh, Wes Morgan. And, uh, man, I just uh, Dexter Walker and Zion Movement, Charles Butler. Man, I got songs all over the place in these albums. And these songs that God has given me have been, you know, a lot of people's... Um, uh, soundtracks for their lives, man. And I'm just and, and grateful. Y'all so. heard all of that, right? Y'all didn't hear Earl Bynum, Earl Bynum. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta, I, gotta, I, I gotta get an Earl Bynum. We gotta do an Earl Bynum collab. So, but, I'm totally but, so, so let me ask you, what was your first song that actually let the world know this is you? And how did that feel? Man, I was on, actually what's crazy is I was on tour with Ron Canoli. I was in London. Oh, man. And uh, Ron Canoli is like a, a, a father to me. I've, I've toured with him for the last maybe 10 years. Um, now wow. he's a little older, so he has yeah, 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 yeah. But I was on, um, I think Facebook hadn't really started yet. I think it had just started. Okay. And somebody hit me up and was telling me, Titus Robinson hit me up and said, hey, Vashon is trying to get in touch with you. Uh, he's working on his Promises album that uh, he just signed with Ty Scott. Okay. And he, he wants to do two of the songs. And so the songs on that record was I Worship You and Over and Over featuring Kim Burrell. Okay. And so at the beginning, I was just, I didn't know what to do as a songwriter or copyrights. I was just like, yeah, he can do it. You know, and um, he did them. And people that follow my ministry outside of uh, before I got signed as an artist was like, man, um, we heard your song on the record and somebody was riding, uh, somebody was watching TV and on MTV, they went into a church in Chicago and they were singing, I worship you. You're always there yeah. when no one else cares and I can depend on you to guide me through. I worship you for the rest of my so I, So when I heard it, I was just like, wow, I can't believe somebody took my song. And then the fact, of being a new writer and having Kim Burrell on one of your songs. Okay. Because I reposted a video of you and Kim Burrell uh, not too long ago. Yeah. And, you know, just to have a goat on, on, on one of your songs. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that that to go down in history. I, it, I, when I first heard it, it was just crazy um, to know that, you know, you, God can give you something yeah. and you can write something that people want to sing and that will live forever. You know, and, and I think more than, you know, making money off the songs and doing all of that, the, the part of the ministry behind it, I think that that's the most important part. 
Man, that's awesome. You you have written some incredible songs. We already know that. I mean, we heard them, and you know, and you know how we are. We think that oh, that that's how Scott Walker song. Nah, not really. I mean, he <laughs> picked it. <laughs> but it belongs to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 crazy, man, because um a lot of people, you know, would be like, Man, why'd you keep that for yourself? And I'm like, man, you know. You know, now remaking the song 15 years later yeah. and dropping it as a single. Wow. And then to be able to feature the, the artist that made it popular. It's never been done where a, a writer turned yeah. artist features the artist that made the song popular. That, now that was awesome. You know, and it, and it shows how humble Bishop Hezekiah Walker is. Exactly. You know, we shot a music video, which will be out in a couple of days. Okay. And um, uh, we shot a music video to it. And of course, during COVID, everybody was kind of scared to get together. So I had to make sure everybody had, you know, tests and, yeah. you know, you know, people couldn't come if they weren't, you know, tested. So I'm just grateful, man, to have songs and now be an artist. You know, I've been an artist on, you know, four independent albums and now being signed to Ty Scott yeah. um, on my first album. That's awesome, man. I, I mean, we at the Mount, we sing, pretty much almost all of your songs. So, I mean, oh, man. We will be doing the remix, trust. We will God, be. That's what's up. <laughs> so that's now, what's up. with the remix, you got this new song, you revised it. I mean, I heard the music, man. I was like, ooh, that, that's sweet. OK, yeah. I see, I see. So uh, how does it feel now with this? What do you want people that hear now this revised version to get out what they didn't get out the first? Um, I honestly, you know, it, it, it's the vibe that I had on the song at first. So, you know, it doesn't take away from the, you know, I put a little bit more of the unison parts in on, on, uh, on the, on the verse, okay. you know, cause I had more of it being a more corporate piece. Yeah. And, um, I still wanted to keep the elements that Bishop did because that's all of the churches around the world were singing that version. Exactly. So I didn't want to stray away too far but I wanted to add the musical element of uh, what, how I heard it in my head. Got so um, I, I just want them to have fun with it. It, it. We put a little bit more of a pop, you know, a little bit more pop to the, to the song, you know, a little bit more gospel, okay. you know, hype to it. Put that bop back in your neck. I said, that's what gospel is missing. It's missing that. Remember the dude from the Karen Clark uh, DVD? Uh, when the bomb in Gilead came on and he was yeah. his neck yeah, 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 with yeah. the orange suit jacket. We missing that bop in gospel. There music. you go. And I want to bring that vibe, you know, I want to keep that vibe alive in gospel. Gotcha. Now, any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Yeah, man. I want to shout out my choir, first of all, the Atmosphere Changers. Um, I want to shout out Ty Scott. You know, it's been an incredible journey. I thank God for my journey because I learned the business as a writer. So it helped me as an artist when I got signed. So, you know, I'm, I'm on Ty Scott, but I'm on J. Clay Music, which is my label. And um, uh, and I want to give a shout out to all my team, the, uh, the David Brand, uh, the headliner agency, Jamel Green, um, uh, Shan Venice Management, who manages my choir, and just everybody, man, my wife. Yeah. Tatiana Claiborne, my kids, Najaya yeah. yeah. and Jaceon. I, I mean, it, it's been a part of the journey. And just everybody who has supported me um, before I got signed. And then now those that are getting to know my ministry now. Now, with all that you have going on, how do you balance it all? Um, you have to learn how to take time. And I think God shut everybody down to get everybody, first of all, back to him to understand that he's in control. Second of all, back to the family, the black family. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's very, very important for us to have balance. Uh, take time, uh, my pastor says, uh, 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 divert daily, um, 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 get away weekly and uh, go away annually. And so it's wow. very, very important for you to take time through the week. So I know on Saturday afternoon, or on Sunday or on Friday nights, those are times. Friday nights is me and my wife. Saturday is family, everybody. And then Sunday, we take time after church, you know, for dinner and to, you know, watch a couple movies or something before we get back into the regular. So I think that God is really shut down, shut us down to let us understand that we have to get back to family. It's God, family, then industry. Come on. That's good. That's yeah. good stuff. Good stuff. Good teaching too. Now, how can people get your music, get in touch with you? What can it go? 
Listen, you can get my music on all media platforms. I tell everybody, yes, stream, but go buy gospel music. <laughs> we got to get back to buying. I buy good. Earl Bynum's music. Buy everybody's music. Buy Lucinda's music. Buy my music. You can go on iTunes. You can go on Amazon. If you don't have no money, it's okay. Go stream. It's cool. I'm cool with that. But everybody, you can get us Jason Claiborne. Type in my name, Jason Claiborne, and the atmosphere changes. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Jason Claiborne 44, Jason Claiborne on Twitter, and I got a Twitter too. Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then uh, theatmosphereChangers.com. Uh, you can book us, theatmosphereChangers.com. We have singles. Our album is ready for pre-order right now, but then our album is out. Right. Our album is out. You can go oh, get it right now. That's right. songs, no skips. And we brought <laughs> back that God's property, Natalie Wilson vibe to gospel music. Ah, that's what that's I right. felt that was needed in this era right now. Okay. And so we brought back that choir sound of that God's property, that Natalie Wilson vibe, and a sprinkle of church. Right. Of course, you got to. Now, yeah. now, what can you say to any artist that's listening, whether it be independent, major, or whatever, at this point of where we are in this season, what can you say that you think can help them even in where we are? Yeah, I would say, first of all, ministry before industry. If you focus on ministry, God will elevate you in the industry. Don't focus on the platform, focus on blessing people's lives. And then also to, Make sure you get a team of people around you that know the business. Mm. <clears throat> I have a team of lawyers. I have a team of managers. I have a publicist. I have all of those different things. And those parts are intricate in what you're doing. Yeah. Um, God will elevate you in his time. It's not our, it's not our time. It's not your time. You got to understand that just because you know people, that does not mean they're going to help you. Mm -hmm. And that you don't want nobody holding nothing over your head. God doesn't share his glory. God is the source. Focus on him, focus on him on a regular, on all your needs. I tell somebody, I don't owe nobody nothing but God. God is my source. And if you make God your source, he will work out everything else in the time that is supposed to be for you and your ministry. That's good. Now, in the next five years, where you see yourself? Oh, man, three or four more albums. I'd love, to, I, I really, I really love to collab with a whole lot of artists, man. I just feel like, you know, we need to take the element of what the secular rap industry is doing and do that in gospel. Um, um, put all of the things aside and show what kingdom looks like. So my mission is really to collab and to work with artists, work with writers, work with producers. And, and, and we just build something that is amazing. I don't, if I write the course, you can write the vamp. It don't right. matter to me. You know, yeah. if we can write the bridge. You could say, Jay, I've been stuck on this bridge. Um, that happened to me with the Lisa Knows Great Big God song. Okay. Aaron, Aaron called me and said, Jay, I need a bridge and a vamp. Wow. So I turned around and in my studio, sang a bridge and a vamp, sent it to him. He tweaked it. And that's how that song came out. Look, you know, so. Look, the pie is big enough for everybody to get a slice. Everybody, man. It, was, it, it ain't a shortage of sinners. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, we, we can all work together. We can all make this thing happen together. And. I think that that's what the next season of the industry is going to look like. Yeah. It's going to be where we are all together. We're all working together. We're all understanding that, you know, God can create um, wealth for everybody. And, and, and it says your gift will make room for you. Yes, sir. And we got to you know we got to work together. So before we go, man, tell everybody again where they can get your music. They need to go and get it now. Go get it now. Jason Claiborne in the atmosphere changes. God made it beautiful. Um, we have four music videos, uh, to, uh, songs on the album, Praise Belongs to You, God Made It Beautiful, Creator, which is a crazy hump. I want you to go get that joint. You'll love it. And then your All I Need video will be out on the 30th, May the 30th. So go get it. Jason Claiborne and the Atmosphere Changes, God Made It Beautiful on all media sites. Go grab it. Man, thank you so much for being here, for taking your time out. Now, now where are y'all based out of your group? Uh, uh, we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Got, oh wow! You down there with the big man down there. We he, he, every time I see him, he said, "Get me a big red, the radio." Oh Lord, G are you talking about Purvis? That's my Purvis. <laughs> yeah, he says that he wrote all our songs. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, man, thank you so much for joining us, and and we definitely appreciate it. We wish you the best in all you do. Keep man, thank fighting. You. 
keep making things happen, keep being the great father, the great husband, spending that time making that happen because we need to see black men being black men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And thank you, man. It's an honor to be on here with you. You are a goat in this industry. I appreciate you and Lucinda. Both of you all are goats in this industry, man. And I'm honored to be here with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all continue to keep it locked where it's hot. You're on stage with Earl Biden.